Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to my channel and uh, you join me as I'm on the second rerun of my uh, halo trip last week when the external microphone wasn't working. I'm pretty confident it is working now, we've got similar conditions, nice sunny, sunny skies, a little bit of cloud and I'm just on my way up Pike Law and there's a couple of reasons I'm on my way up Pike Law. First one being I don't really walk through the town centre, up to the halo, very uninteresting, um, much more interesting this way, although there is a little bit of a, a climb, magnificent views which I'll show you in a minute, um, but secondly, uh, I came across a YouTube channel recently uh, called Days of Horror, and it's run by a local couple, Chris and Vicky, uh, and if you are into the history of particularly the Rosendale area because they are local uh, I suggest you go over to the channel I will leave a link in the uh, description below when I finish the the vlog um, but as I say I stumbled over it about uh, four months ago the research these guys put into their stories it's just unbelievable um, and there's one again the, the last reason I'm coming up is part of law uh, because there's a story that um, happened in 1929 and it's called the Pike Law Five, where five young kids came up here and got lost in uh, a warren of uh, tunnels because it, it's a quarry up here. I, I, have, I lived here all my life, I never knew it was a quarry at all. Um, and the, uh, these lads got lost and there was a, a copper called uh, Thomas Braithwaite um, actually found them. I'm not gonna give too much more away, um, but really fascinating story uh, and there's just this warren of um, ch uh, tunnels over here and, and I never knew um, so do yourselves a favour if you like that sort of stuff just uh, go over to the channels and have a look um, it's, uh, it's it's a really good channel so part of the reason for coming up here is the superb views I'll just give you a quick pan round there that's going up to the motorway going up towards Manchester cricket club there trees in the way and that's going over to grain I'll give you a better shot when I get up to the the top of the hill um, now we're going along here <coughs> but uh, just going back to the situation with these uh, five lads the Pike Law five led to believe looking at the video that um, Chris and Vicky put together I believe oh, I mean there's a warren of tunnels all over here never knew it absolutely never knew it but I believe the um, channels that they went, the tunnels they went down were, were over there somewhere. And they went in about four to 500 yards, I believe. But as I say, I'm not gonna take uh, anything else away from the superb production they put together. Um, just uh, say, go over to the channel and have, a, and have a look. I'm just coming off Pike Law now. And I believe this um, is a gate that used to be the boundary of the old uh, hospital. And it, it runs all the way up there where I've just come from. And all the way down that way towards Aslan and Old Road. And as you can see now, it's just uh, been turned into um, massive housing estate. <coughs> Daughter was actually born there, Aslandale Hospital. Right, this is the worst part of coming this way. You've got all your scenic views, but unfortunately, and it probably doesn't do justice on the camera, but this is a short, but horrendous climb up. So I'll catch you halfway up because there's something I want to show you. Right guys, we're halfway up, puffing a bit. The reason I wanted to stop, not was because of the energy I'm expelling. Um, anybody know what this structure is? I don't know, it's, oh, it's a local dumping ground now. But clearly these are the gates to get in. Any local people know what it is? I'll give you a shot as I get a bit higher up because I've got to go up there now. But just when we're halfway up, you can see how the views expose themselves. Just zoom in a bit there if I can. Got Alex Mill there at Rottenstall in the distance. I'll just pan you around, motorway, 
Oakham Tower there in the distance. I don't know whether the camera picks it up but going into the sun. Might not be able to pick it up. Some superb views. Going up to Hasland and Grain over there. But I'll get a bit higher up and just take a, another bit of this and just uh, if anybody knows just we pop it in comments down below please. There we go guys, better shot of it there. Absolutely perfectly circular. Gate there on the left hand side. Probably about 30 foot deep. Anybody know what it is? Answers below please. to uh, Hazen and Gray and you can just see I think that's the second res first res is uh, hidden just in the foreground you've got the old grey mill chimney there I'll try and zoom in I was thinking at one point um, whether it might be interesting just to do a drone shot of that uh, I hope but I'll have to just see if there's any buildings in way for legal reasons so we'll go around this corner now I don't know if you can see it just on the summit there of that little hill you can just see the halo coming into view so that's where we're going and uh, it'll probably take me about 10 minutes from here to uh, to get up to there so i'll bring you back in a bit Right guys, just arrived at the halo. Uh, I have a sneaky suspicion it's going to be massively busy. Massively busy. I've passed uh, a lot of people and there's a lot of people past me just going up this path. It's just around the corner. Um, now you, you don't need to walk to the halo. You can see there's a car park here and there's road off-road parking there. And what I will do, I'll leave the map reference and I'll also leave the um, postcode if anybody's not familiar with the local area at the end of the, uh, the vlog. So that will hopefully be helpful for you. Uh, now this thing glows in the dark, you can see it for miles around and it's actually charged by that wind turbine there. It's an 18 foot, no is it 18, 18 meters I think diameter, if it's not I'll uh, put the correct measurements on the vlog. Um, yeah there's loads of people here so I'm not going to do a lot of filming up here. But you can see it there, just zoom in for you. And there's a distinct smell of cannabis around here you do that's the one drawback to this place you get the local village idiots coming up trashing the place leaving beer bottles and all sorts and there's a very strong smell of cannabis at the minute so as i say how to respect the people here i'll uh, i'm not doing any more filming um but you can see it's a very popular place there's a little board there that tells you all about it uh, I'll just go to the end and see if I can get any worthwhile shots for you. Right guys, there's nothing else worth, uh, worth shooting. Um, I packed a lot of pictures in the uh, vlog I did last week that I've uh, already saved ready for editing. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll sign off now. Hope you enjoyed um, this little trip up to the airport. Uh, as I say, it's, um, you, 
can see this thing for miles and uh, it just glows this bright blue and um, so it's all powered by that uh, that wind turbine over, over here. Um, so, as I say, you can drive up here no problem uh, if you just you know, uh, use the leg power. Uh, but it is quite a nice walk um, through um, the, the way I've done now over Pike Law. And please do check out Chris and Vicky's channel. Uh, it is, um, there's some superb stuff on there. And as I say, they do everything in a very respectful way and what have you. I um, mean, they covered the Lindsay Burbeck tragedy uh, uh, not long ago, which is still pretty raw. And they, they do it with so much respect and, uh, and dignity. It's, um, uh, it, you know, they're, they're very good at what they do. Oops, not like me, because I've just, uh, I've just lost you then for a minute. So, as I said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I don't put videos on every week because I'm time, and I'm, as I've said in my descriptions, I'm not after getting monetized. It's just uh, when I, we do walks, uh, Mrs. and myself, uh, we'll just do a, you know, an upload or two. And if you if you like them, then um, watch them. If you don't, well, watch somebody else's channel, I suppose. So, thanks for watching. Give us a like and subscribe if um, if you like the content, and um, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.